it's been a tough year for young Jables. His confidence has never been lower, and because of this, he feels like he'll never get anywhere in life. And now he has no drive or motivation. When he asks girls out, he just gets rejected, and his friends don't take him seriously. Just imagine what this does to his mental health. He really does want to do better, but it's like no matter how hard he tries, he just can't seem to get anywhere. Do you want to improve your confidence? Well stick around cause I need that watch time. You know when you play video games, in the beginning you start off pretty weak don't you? And most of the enemies are quite difficult, but then you start to do more side quests, you level up, and you unlock new abilities. And because of this, you start to enjoy the game so much more, you get hooked on it. And now the enemies that you struggled with in the beginning, you're really not phased by them anymore, because you've become stronger and more confident. Well real life isn't much different, if you're setting small goals for yourself, you'll start to see progress and learn new things. Imagine that this is XP and it's levelling you up, because it really is if you think about it. And what you're actually doing here is you're building a bank of achievements that are going to prop up your self-worth. Before, you might have been someone who doesn't really have much to show for himself, so naturally you'll be less confident because you've got nothing to look back on and be proud of. But if you have got things to be proud of, you're not going to be so worried about what people think, because you know yourself what you've achieved. Now although you should never live for the approval of others, it doesn't mean that you should shy away from people. And you know what bro? I I used to be one of the most awkward people you'll ever meet. I'd always be fumbling my words and it'd be making me more nervous. I'd never know what to say so I'd end up forcing more conversation, making it even more uncomfortable. I couldn't really be myself around people because I felt like I'd be judged. But you know what changed this? It was hanging around with people who are confident, who are authentic, who don't care about trying to impress. It really helped me to develop my sense of humour and personality because in all honesty, I didn't have much of that. Talking to more people made me more confident because I got used to being social. I worked in a retail job where I'm forced to talk to people all day long and when you're doing something day in day out it just becomes second nature to you. Once you know how to talk to people it becomes so much easier to have a laugh and it makes people like you more. When you know you can make people smile it's a gift that most people don't have which makes you a more valuable person. When you know that people like you you gain so much more confidence in yourself. Being successful and sociable has its limits though. If you're not taking care of yourself you're your confidence is going to suffer. Now I don't know about you, but whenever I get a haircut, a shower, a shave or wear a nice fragrance, I'm suddenly in a much better mood. And the reason why is because I'm looking, feeling and smelling better. It's reinforcing to myself that I'm more attractive. If you feel more attractive, you're going to be more confident. And because you feel it in yourself, you'll be in a much better mood. So when you're talking to people, you'll give off much better energy. People will feel a positive vibe and want to be around you more. Your confidence makes others feel at ease around you. You make them feel safe and so naturally they'll gravitate towards you. So make the effort to take care of yourself. You don't need to look 100% all of the time but if you're presenting yourself like crap you're probably going to feel it as well. And what better way to present yourself than to exercise regularly. Now look you don't need to be in the gym six days a week eating like 10,000 calories a day to look good but taking the time to do something difficult that's good for you will do wonders for your confidence as well as your mental health. There's a reason why when you ask a question in the self-improvement group the number one answer is always just get in the gym bro because exercise improves your mood it gives you something to work towards and if you can slowly improve your physique at the same time why not it gets you out of the house and for whatever reason you'll get so many more compliments not from women but from men surprisingly when people are constantly telling you that you look good you'll eventually start to believe it so you'll always be more confident than you were previously confidence is a game changer bro and it's going to open up so many more doors for you if you start to apply these things in your life, you will become more confident. I can personally say that it's helped me tremendously, so there's no reason why it won't do the same for you. By the way bro, I'm going to need you to leave a like and a comment. This really helps to grow the channel and if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Earlier in the video we talked about how achieving goals is good for your confidence. Maybe you're already trying that but you're seeing little progress. If you'd like to know why that is, click the video on screen right now.